Today I'm going to show you how I make my reginette with creamy mushroom sauce. I always adore this simple dish. It's easy and quick to make, and it's a great dish for those that don't have a lot of time. As always, all the quantities and the recipe are written down in the description below the video. First, prepare the mushrooms. Cut off the bottom of the mushroom stalk and slice the mushrooms. It's easier to slice them if you half them first and lay them flat on the board. Don't slice them too thin, or they will become mushy as they cook. You can use any type of mushroom really, but I usually use the button mushrooms. Finely chop a half a shallot and after your parsley as well. In the meantime, boil the water for your pasta. Don't forget to put in at least one tablespoon of salt. Here, I chose reginette, but you can use any type of pasta you wish. I know there are some rules about which pasta goes with what, but in the end, you're the chef in your kitchen, so do as you wish. Just make sure you boil your pasta for a minute less than what it says on your packet. Now, let's prepare the sauce. Heat up the pan on a medium heat and add in one tablespoon of olive oil. To it, add a chopped shallot and some salt and saute it until it becomes translucent. Add in your mushrooms and brown them off. This way, you will remove the excess moisture from them. Season the mushrooms with a pinch of black pepper and a pinch of salt. Squeeze in your garlic clove and let it saute together with mushrooms for about 10 to 15 seconds. Add in one teaspoon of butter and mix it with your mushrooms. You can skip the butter here if you want, it's really optional, but it will make the sauce a bit more creamier and it will add an extra flavor. Once the butter melts, add in your chopped parsley. Mix well and after pour in your cream. Add half of your grated parmesan, mix everything together and let the sauce come up to a light simmer. Your pasta should be about done at this point, so carefully transfer it from the pot to the pan. Do not discard the pasta water, we'll need it. Once all your pasta is in the pan, mix it well. Add the rest of your parmesan and ladle over around 80 ml of pasta water. Mix everything well and let everything cook for another 30 seconds to a minute. Just so that the sauce becomes creamy and smooth. Transfer your pasta to the plate and grate over some more of the parmesan and then serve hot. I hope this quick and easy pasta dish will be to your liking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and see you next time. Bye bye!